What's going on guys? This is Goofy Goop the Balls bringing you guys some Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay. I have been waiting so long for this beta. I've been switching games back and forth as many games as you can think of trying to pass the time to get to this beta. And let me tell you, it's been worth the wait. And I really think Treyarch has hit this nail on the head. They've done a really good job with this beta. And if it's a good indicator of the game, they're going to have a really good game this year. Especially coming out of Advanced Warfare, which, in all honesty, I got pretty tired of pretty early on in the game's lifespan. And I think a lot of players out there will agree with me when I say that. It's just, there were a lot of problems with that game, from skill-based matchmaking to the exo jump, the movement system really not being a Call of Duty type game. It just wasn't something I was having fun with anymore. And I guess that's kind of why I stopped making videos in February this year. And, you know, I just wasn't having fun with the game anymore. And when you're not having fun with the game, there's really no point in making videos. And on top of that, there were a couple other reasons. That was the main reason, but a couple other reasons. I really got bogged down in schoolwork. I mean, in my spring term at my college, just the work was piling up. I spent numerous days doing 10, 12, even 14 hours of work in one day. It was just brutal. I did not have time to do anything else. So that pretty much sums up where I've been. But now it's a new school year, got the new Black Ops 3 game and I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna make some beta videos for you guys and a bunch more when the game finally comes out in November. Anyways, back on topic of this video, I just wanted to give you guys my sort of first impressions, sort of the things I noticed about this game. What makes it good, what makes it bad, things they should work on, and things I think they did really well. So obviously one of the most important things here is the movement system. Coming from Advanced Warfare, that movement system was just not Call of Duty enough. It had too much verticality, it wasn't level enough, it was way more like a, like a Halo type game than a Call of Duty game, and that, that really changed the playing field, it really changed the skill set. And it's just, I really didn't like it for that reason, and I think a lot of longtime Call of Duty fans will agree with me when I say that. But coming into Black Ops 3, it really looks like they've got the movement down right. Wall running and exo jumping, the exo jumping, or whatever it's called in this game, is a lot slower than Advanced Warfare, so it doesn't speed it up too much, so it's not total chaos all up in your face like Advanced Warfare was. And wall running too, it's just, it helps speed up the gameplay, but it doesn't ruin the basic mechanics that are Call of Duty. It doesn't ruin the gunfights, the strategy, the spawn control, the map control, the kill streaks. It keeps the game, Call of Duty, just speeding up the gameplay, which is, which is awesome. I'm really happy to see them innovate and completely change the movement system without losing the good old, old school Call of Duty feel. So that's a positive and a really good positive. The next real thing I noticed is the guns. The guns for some reason have a overall slower fire rate I feel like than compared to a lot of previous Call of Duties. And, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. All the guns feel very good and very balanced in this game. They don't feel too underpowered and they don't feel too overpowered. They are strong, I really do feel that they are very strong guns, but they are all pretty fair. There's not one gun in my mind that stands out as way too unfair, way overpowered, or any guns that really feel too underpowered. So we finally have a game again where you can use the not as good guns and still get very, very good gameplays with them. So that's really good. I mean, it's been since like Modern Warfare 2, I think, was the last time we had overall good guns, where you could use a lower tier gun like the MP5K and still have a very, very good game. And to go along with that, they've brought the return of strong secondary weapons, again, just like Modern Warfare 2. So I'm sure we'll see a ton of secondary weapon only gameplays where people go like 100 no using only a pistol. And to me, that's a huge positive. Being able to use all the guns in a Call of Duty game and still do reasonably well is a huge, huge deal. I mean, it's not really any fun when you're stuck to only two or three good weapons in the whole game. And if you ever want to do good, you only have to use those weapons. Kind of like Advanced Warfare, where if you wanted to do well, you really had to use the BAL, the AK, or the ASM-1. So again, I'm really happy to see the return of those strong weapons and those strong secondaries. That's a huge positive on my list. Now, the next thing is the specialist abilities. So a lot of these are very, very powerful, like Rejack or Glitch. I mean, Rejack, you can come back to life with full health, fully reloaded clip. And that's that's pretty powerful. I mean, you could go on a 10 kill streak or 20 kill streak, die, but then use that and get back and keep going on your streak. And that's that's pretty powerful. That might have to be toned down a bit. And there are definitely some specialist abilities that are underpowered, like the Tempest, the one that shoots that sort of laser gun that zaps you. And if anyone walks around that person that got zapped, gets zapped too. Now I'm not saying that's underpowered. I'm just saying that the logic behind it needs to be kind of reconsidered. 
So like, let's say I pull that gun out, but die instantly, I lose that special ability. And it's not a short special ability, it takes a while to charge that up. So there does need to be some fine tuning with these specialists, and they definitely are powerful. But I do think they add a very nice new component to the game that's not broken and not overpowered. So on to the perks and score streaks. The perks, there's not too many of them and they're not too powerful, very similar to the Black Ops 2 style. And I thought that was a pretty good style. Perks should be in the game. They should give you a small advantage in a certain category, but nothing huge because that would be kind of unfair. I'm sure eventually one perk would emerge to be the final greatest perk. Very similar to Modern Warfare 2 where you had stopping power. And no matter what you wanted to run in that second class for perks, you had to run stopping power if you wanted to do well. The other perks just ended up not comparing to it. So I'm really happy to see some quote unquote weaker perks return to the game. And as for score streaks, again, very similar to Black Ops 2. The lowest kill streaks are useful if you know how to use them right, and the higher kill streaks are very strong, very powerful, especially with the addition of the mothership. It's awesome to see that they're adding a very strong kill streak into the game. I mean, it's been since like Modern Warfare 2 that there's been the Chopper Gunner, the AC-130, those really, really strong kill streaks in a Call of Duty game. Because I personally am a fan of those really big score streaks. And from what I've heard and seen about the mothership, it is one of those score streaks. Very strong, very powerful, but again, very hard to get, so it's fair in that regard. And it's not going to be anything ridiculous like the Modern Warfare 2 Chopper Gunner, where it would just be spawn kill after spawn kill with all the random splash damage and everything like that. So there you guys have it. That pretty much sums up my first impressions of the Black Ops 3 beta, from the movement system, to the weapons, to the specialist abilities, to the perks and the score streaks. Overall, I am very impressed with what Treyarch's done with this game, and I really think it's going to be up there with the best Call of Duties in history. I really want to hear what you guys have to think about the beta too, so feel free to leave a comment down below with your impressions of the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd love it if you could drop a like on this video and go and check out the rest of my channel. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Black Ops, mark up another win.